Hi, my name's Beck. I'm an acupuncturist, a yin yoga and a meditation teacher. And today let's have a chat about setting up your sacred space. So setting up a home environment for your meditation practice is a really lovely and honorable thing to do. Setting up your own little environment will help you want to go and do your practice. It'll help you be attracted to the idea of coming into your own place of peace and of stillness. And it can be your own little area of the house. Uh, nothing super fancy or special, um, just somewhere where you really want to be. So when I'm at home, um, I don't meditate in this studio. I just simply meditate in my lounge room, but I do use this cushion. So this cushion is a part of the tools that help me anchor into my meditation practice. It's a nice, big, chunky cushion. And the thing that I love about it the most is that when I'm sitting on this cushion, my knees are below my hips. And so if you're a floor sitter, this is really important. So you, not, you need a nice firm cushion um, so that it allows the spine to straighten and to lengthen. So once you have your cushion established, just see if it is, is not quite high enough and um, you can just get a rolled up towel or a blankie and just place it under your bottom there. No, now let's assume that um, you're actually not a floor sitter and um, your joints are a little bit stiff. So in that case, just come to a straight backed comfortable chair and have, um, have your feet definitely both um, touching the floor. And so if they're not touching the floor, then just get a nice firm cushion and place um, that cushion underneath your feet. It's very important to have your feet nice and grounded for your practice. So we want to have a nice tall straight spine for our breath work and our meditation work. Now, why is that? Um, obviously slouching, like let's just slouch for a moment. This is not, this is not a very enlightening posture. And remember, we're getting back to the why, like why are we meditating in the first place? So it's not to go like this, it's to be like this, you know, like this is my why. I want my heart to be open and um, I want to radiate kindness and my meditation practice really helps me achieve those things. So I often get asked, can I meditate laying down, right? Like that's a big question. It's, it doesn't sound like a big question. It's a big question for me because um, no, I actually can't meditate laying down at all. I'm hopeless at that. If you can do that and achieve what you want to achieve, then go ahead, my friend, lay down, get comfortable, pop something um, like a bolster underneath your knees and, um, and do your inner work practice. For myself, I've never been able to meditate laying down. My mind just wanders. And for me, that's not achieving why I'm putting that um, devoted time aside for my inner work expansion. So I need to be sitting up nice and tall in an open space. So say you need, um, you'd like to sit on the floor, but you need something behind your back, like a wall, then just make sure that your head is floating in the space so that um, your head isn't leaning back against the wall either okay that will really help all right so either in a chair cushion on the ground knees below your hips okay the second prop that i really need and i highly recommend is just to have a simple shawl or <laughs> or a blankie <laughs> so this shawl has been my meditation shawl for years, for years. I don't even know how many years. And as soon as I put this shawl on, it's so cool. Can you feel that stillness? Hang 
hope that you can. It's quite incredible and my heart starts a different rhythm as well. I have taught hundreds of classes in this shawl. And in 2020, I spent six months by the beach with my family living in a tent and I was teaching classes online from my phone and it would still be 30 degrees and I would still put on this shawl because it helps my nervous system know what is about to happen, right? And what is about to happen? We're practicing the art of stillness, the art of being still. So we're trying to remove anything that is in the way of us achieving that. And so creating a space for your practice is really important. Now, my shawl is a part of my sacred space. It's a part of me. I don't necessarily need this cushion but I do need the shawl, or at least I find it really helpful that will allow me to meditate anywhere and everywhere. Something else to consider when beginning your meditation practice is the time of the day. When should I meditate? So I'm again, I'm personally quite rubbish at meditating at the end of the day. It doesn't feel enjoyable for me at all. Um, that is a time for me to be with my family. In Chinese medicine, we have this really interesting theory called the Horary Clock. And that is basically the peak and ebb time throughout the 24 hour clock of your organs qi cycles. So um, when a patient comes with um, a particular series of, um, uh, of symptoms, uh, one of our questions is, and, and what time do you experience that? So between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. is lung time. So your lungs are nice and strong at that time. And between 5 and 7 a.m. is large intestine time, right? So these guys allow us psychologically to breathe life in, like breathe in the new, use that lung energy, and then to breathe life out, to let stuff go, and to let it go some more, and to let it go some more. So I find the times between sort of 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. are the best time for me to practice my meditation. And that really works for me. So just find the best time for you. Okay, so good luck with setting up your sacred space. What are you gonna need? You're gonna need a chair or a cushion and a prop like a shawl or a blankie. Or you might also like to have this really nice sort of um, palm stones that you can just sort of rest in your hand like a crystal or something like that like a soft smooth stone things like that can be really helpful in just um, bringing the awareness into the breath and into the body thank you so much for being here good luck with your practice and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, in our next video, we're going to talk about posture and things to focus on during your practice. Okay, thank you so much. Namaste.